So the other thing I wanted to show is how to access the um, information you need for kind of looking at vulnerabilities. So this is a multi-layered map. Um, this is what GIS kind of gives you is, is ways to overlap lots of different kinds of data. So you'll see, obviously, this kind of gives you just sort of an overview. Okay, I got that. That's great. Um, now what I want to do is I want to kind of come up to, um, and I think I recommend the, the first thing I want to do is social vulnerability to hazards. And then under that, that sort of gives me a whole bunch of things. Um, and if I go back to topic selection, I also want to go to the layers and select national flood hazard layer. Um, I believe those are my two, but you can kind of see that there's a whole bunch of different kinds of hazards that you could potentially map if you wanted, right? And that also includes the 100 year flood zone. So I'm going to include both sort of this national flood hazard layer as well as this 100 year flood zone. So now I'm going to zoom in. So let's see if I can remember how to zoom in. Here we go. I'm going to move the map closer to where I want to go. So I'm kind of looking at along the nooksack. Um, and, but really it's, you know, wherever you particular happen to focus, since I looked at the nooksack near Ferndale from my earlier example, I'm going to kind of look there, but you'll see that it's sort of multiple different locations. So I'm going to just kind of pick this one. And then that will give me more details, right? So it shows me sort of how much the population is for that area. It shows me a whole bunch of, you know, it gives me the race distribution, um, the age of the population. So is it an older population or a younger population? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then also the sex. Uh, so male or female, they're doing binary there. Um, but then what I can also see is that it's giving me this color, right? So it's telling me that it's eight in the ranking here of our uh, social vulnerability. So what does that mean? Well, if I scroll down here, that's a five in terms of these variables, right? So single, there's not a lot of single parent households, but there are a fairly high number of people with disabilities in this particular region and still a fairly large number of people with people who are 65 and older living alone and people with limited English proficiency. You can do the same thing for housing and look and see what kinds of data are there and then also for socioeconomic status, right? And so that's sort of where we see our highest number and that's where percent unemployed is sort of as high as you can get in that particular region. So this is sort of, when I ask about vulnerability and what do the different rankings mean, you can really kind of dig down into that level of detail. I hope that helps in terms of figuring out how to navigate that part of the lab.